welcome. The exercises of this video will help you strengthen the muscles of your throat and can also lead to a better laryngeal elevation while swallowing. This can help in the case of swallowing disorders which are caused by a weakness in this area. What is the danger of this kind of swallowing disorder? Parts of your food or liquid may remain in your throat after swallowing or at the entrance of your trachea and may then be inhaled into your airways and lead to inflammations. I recommend you repeat the exercises about three times a day. You can also use the other videos with exercises for the throat area. Imagine that you want to say a strong popping k. Build up the tension of this sound with your mouth and tongue. Hold and increase the tension for about five seconds before you let the k pop out. Repeat the exercise eight times. Open your mouth wide and place the tip of your tongue at the top of the front palate behind the teeth. Slowly move the tip of your tongue backwards along the top of the palate. Keep your mouth wide open and repeat the exercise eight times. Place your hands in front of your mouth so that your lips are between two fingers. Then close the gap between your fingers almost completely so that your lips are almost closed. Now try to suck in air through this small opening or gap which gives you resistance. Make sure that the air is not sucked in through your nose. Breathe in for approximately 3 seconds and then exhale completely and relaxed. Alternatively you can also suck in the air through a straw and almost close the opening of the straw so that only a very small gap remains. Repeat sucking in the air against resistance five times. In between continue to breathe normally for a few breaths so that you don't get dizzy.
Keep your head upright. Place your hand on your forehead and press your head straight forward against your hand. Apply enough resistance with your hand so that your head cannot move. Hold the tension for 10 seconds and repeat the exercise 5 times. In the last exercise, you exhale forcefully against resistance. You can blow out air vigorously into a balloon a few times, or you can create resistance by taking a straw into your mouth and narrowing the lower end with your finger, so that only a very small opening remains. Then blow vigorously into the balloon or the straw. In between the exercise, you continue to breathe normally for a few breaths so that you don't feel dizzy. Repeat the exercise five times and stop it if you don't feel good. I hope that the exercises will help you strengthen your muscles and make your swallowing procedure safer. See you soon!